cases prepping for the worst, but how bad will they get it? We turn now to meteorologist Brian Shaw, who's been tracking Irene for us from Weather Watch 4. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Anthony. Starting off the live look at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, I noticed that there was a car on the roadway there, a couple of them actually. Probably not a very good idea as Irene is expected to make landfall, at least the eye of the storm, very shortly while the outer edges of it have been hitting it pretty hard and seeing a lot of wind and some very heavy downpours. Now, right now, storm surge is ex expected to be uh, roughly, I'd say, around 10 feet in some areas. That means uh, basically the water would come inland that far. So a lot of flooding is expected. We're going to see rainfall amounts in areas anywhere from six inches to possibly 12 inches and then isolated tornadoes are going to be very possible. Now the track of this storm is going to be basically right along the coast, going to go right through New York City, expected say late morning tomorrow, early afternoon, still as a category one hurricane as it moves through the Philadelphia area, New Jersey, New York City, not expected to get below hurricane level to a tropical storm until probably it makes its way into New England possibly the Boston area as Boston is under only a tropical storm warning while the rest of the areas on the East Coast, Anthony, are under a hurricane warning.